Audio Advice first heard the Canto U series back in 2016. They had a very warm and musical sound to our ears, plus the fact that they had a built-in phono preamp made our vinyl loving side smile. Now, one really smart move on Canto's part was recognizing that the market for small powered speakers spans all kinds of customers. So rather than offering only a couple of finishes like most companies, they came out of the gate with a huge variety of vibrant colors that could fit into many different environments. Canto's U2, U4, U6 have all been extremely popular here at Audio Advice with their multiple input choices and great sound. In mid-2019, Canto had the idea of taking their very popular U4 model and offering what we like to call a Henry Ford version. They felt not everyone needed all of the inputs and color choices, so they made something more basic to let music lovers on a tight budget get into really great sound. The Canto U is the new model that fulfills their goal and is the subject of today's review. But before we get started, I want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss the latest content. On our channel, we showcase the very best when it comes to home audio and home theater equipment by doing high-end reviews, comparisons, and setup guides, and even full home theater installs from start to finish. You're not going to get this anywhere else. All right, now let's dive into the brand new Canto U powered speakers. Much like the U4, the U is a compact speaker. It is designed to be an all-in-one speaker where the only thing you'll need is an audio source to start playing some tunes. Physically, the U is about 9 inches tall, 5.5 inches wide, and 7.5 inches deep. While not tiny, the U will easily fit on a bookcase or desktop. Unlike the other Cantos, the U is only available in basic black as you see here. Now, build quality is first rate and especially good considering their budget price point. And with Canto being a Canadian company, they've not yet been hit with any tariffs. So, the U is a very, very good deal at a price of only $249 a pair as of filming this video. On the front of the U, you'll find a round knob that serves as a source selector and volume control. You just click it to flip between Bluetooth and the analog inputs, turn it for volume, or push and hold to power the speaker on or off. In addition to this, the U comes with a full function remote control. We really like the fact that it has bass, treble, and balance settings on the remote in addition to the standard controls. Canto even gives you a reset button for each setting to take it back to neutral. The amplifier and inputs are housed in one speaker that you'll connect up to the other using the supplied speaker cable. To meet Canto's goal of the budget U4, they eliminated the digital inputs and phono preamp. You do get an analog input, a subwoofer output, and most importantly, they come with Bluetooth 4.2 with Qualcomm AppDex. This is a high resolution type of Bluetooth that will give you the very best sound when streaming from your smartphone. The speaker components used in the U is one reason it sounds so good for the money. The tweeter is a 1 inch silk dome type and the 4 inch woofer is made of Kevlar. To increase efficiency, the U, like all of the other Canto U models, has a rear firing port. Now, this is pretty common on most powered speakers. It does mean that where you can place them can certainly impact the sound quite a bit. Now, we would not recommend putting any rear ported speaker right up against a wall or in a corner as they're going to get a little boomy. Move them out a little bit into the room and you'll be pleased with the sound. The U has an internal amplifier to power the speaker components. This type of design has a huge advantage in that the designer of the amp knows precisely what type of load the amp is going to be seeing. So with this knowledge, the amplifier can be made to a perfect match for the speakers. To us, it looks like Canto did a wonderful job of trimming down the U4 to give people its same great sound with just the loss of the phono and optical inputs. Now, we tried the U on both some desktop stands and some speaker stands for a more serious evaluation. We do recommend, and this holds true for any desktop speaker, that you do invest a little bit into a nice pair of desk stands. They will angle the speaker up, but more importantly, it'll reduce the interaction of the speaker and your desk, which will open up the mid-range. 
Bluetooth connection was quick and easy for us, so we had music playing in a matter of seconds. The U4, which sounds identical to the U, has been one of our favorite little powered speakers here at Audio Advice. But when you get that sound for under $250 a pair, you are really getting something special. The Silk Dome tweeter Kanto uses is just that, silky smooth. Now for its small cabinet size, the U also produces pretty decent bass. Now, although it is by no means the amount of bass energy you will get out of a larger cabinet with a bigger woofer. If you push the U hard, the bass does get a little boomy compared to bigger speakers, but that is typical for speakers of this size. Now, what the U does very well is present a big sound stage that allows you to separate the individual instruments and performers, especially when you place them on floor stands. Another thing that struck us is how pleasant they are to listen to at a low volume level, which is good because these will be most likely used for background music while working at your desk. Now, the sound is very smooth and sweet, so you'll be able to play them for hours without any fatigue. Plus, the fact that you can fine-tune the U to your music and or room is pretty amazing in the price range. So it certainly sounds to us that Kanto made the decision to go for a pure, smooth sound rather than create something capable of filling a big room with loud sound that might not be as pure. Within their limits, these are a great sounding little pair of speakers, and it is hard to find a decent bookshelf speaker for under $250 a pair these days, much less ones that have amplifiers built right in. Now don't get us wrong, the Kanto U is not the end-all be-all speaker, but it is one heck of a performer. And if you are starting out a system on a budget, these need to be on your list. Or if you want to improve your computer sound, they will be great there as well. Also, if you need a phono preamp or optical inputs, the U4 for just a little bit more money is a great step up. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, please give it a like. And again, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great home audio and home theater content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.